Hello, this is Scott, and this is the Hyper Report. Here are the quotes for various items. First, 70 years. For over 70 years, the US dollar has been the predominant currency in world trade. Today, things are changing very quickly. The combined 2013 GDP of the US and the EU is about $34.2 trillion according to the World Bank with the US producing $16.8 trillion. On the other hand, the BRICS is about $29.6 trillion with China producing $60.2, which is short of the US by $600 billion. But how much of the US GDP is from the Fed's QE? Needless to say, the BRICS are coming into their own. Next, political alliance. As the world slowly turns against the US dollar, it appears the BRICS, who are made up of 3 billion people, are pressing to fill any gaps. They are beginning to speak with a common voice of a political alliance and in turn will force reform of the international financial system. To that end, this may nullify the US dollar and any potential plans for the SDR scam. Next, fighting the wrong battle. According to Michael Pedro, how can the Fed have conquered inflation if the only battle it has fought since 1987 is against deflation? It is their incomprehension regarding the healing forces associated with deflation that will cause the next collapse to be far worse than 2008. Next, weddings in Hong Kong. If you are in Hong Kong, you can reserve weddings, receptions, and bridal showers at McDonald's. Just think of it, a McWedding where the happy couple share an apple pie and guests get a happy meal. Next, GMO food labels. In the tradition of being the best paid off puppets, members of the House Agricultural Committee pretty much declared outright that Americans are too stupid to read GMO labels were they to be mandatory. Yikes! Next, driverless weapons. Google now has a new problem trying to make their driverless cars legal in five to seven years. An FBI report noted criminals could use automated cars as a lethal weapon. Well, at least one would not be pulled over for driving under the influence. Next, FedEx. Federal authorities charge FedEx with assisting illegal pharmacies for delivering painkillers and dangerous drugs to customers without prescriptions. A FedEx official said it is unreasonable to expect FedEx to take responsibility for the legality of the contents of 10 million packages it delivers each day. Not unless packages are illegally searched by the Department of Homeland Insecurity. Finally, please prepare now for the escalating economic and social unrest. Good day.